Bobby did was extremely relatable, and to watch an audience truly gravitate towards him and listen to what he had to say, embrace his personality, the camera loved him. It was a blast. So much and, fun. and I have to say that we didn't know each other until but today, we together. but we wrote a song together, and like the three-minute assignment that we did, our right. group huddled together, right. we had a lot of fun, it was tough, but and we, we're gonna we, finish we did it, and we're going to finish right. it. So we're gonna, now we're, now we're going to get together, we're going to finish it, we're going to give an excellent seminar. It took away a lot from it, it was, we had a lot of interactive activities that we did. And it was just a really good vibe. I, I, I expected this to be filled with creativity and some good guidelines on songwriting and uh, making connections and stuff, but it far surpassed what I ever thought. And that one hour with Bobby and uh, all of the energy that was in there and the spontaneity of creating songs gave a lot of great ideas to um, creating a good song. Um, I loved it. Absolutely. It super charged. So here's some suggestions. What I like to do with writing a song, and then we're going to try a couple of things. Once again, this workshop is songwriting and production for getting results. So I'm going to aim at mainstream songwriting. I'm going to aim at stuff you hear on the radio, whether it's pop, R&B, rock, adult, contemporary. Okay. The most common thing, again, being said, very, very important, is I think if you're writing for commerciality, if you're writing to appeal to a broader audience, okay, increase exposure, they got to know the title and the kind of hook of the song apparent in your music. They, they have to know that. So write, write that down there, okay? Run, def, definitely, basically, uh, chorus, title. Should be apparent somewhere in the song. Again, these are suggestions. These are knowing the odds. If you write a song that's not like that, it doesn't mean that it won't be a hit. It simply means that the odds of that compared to what has been hits before it's a little less you know what I mean so if you're going for commercial mainstream you know stuff for a wider audience let's keep the focus keep the title keep the concept uh, consistent make the chorus happen and make it easily rememberable okay so having said that I'm gonna play you something just for an example to uh, kinda reiterate the point and I don't think there's many of you that probably heard this so if we can just play the the first clip from the songwriting CD now give it a listen. I want you guys to tell me what the name of this song is. Okay. Who wants to take a wacky friggin' guess? Uh, what the heck that stupid song's title is. Let me hear it. Thank you very much. So there's not too many people that knew that song because that's one of mine. Um, I wasn't singing, by the way. I'm not wearing like tight underwear in that song. So I, I can't sing a note. I'm not even a note. So I can produce, I can play my butt off, I can't sing a note. Um, okay, so very apparent. What happened in that song, again, not getting so caught up on song structure, I'm free, free, okay? The first two lines of the chorus mentions the title of the song. Free from insecurities, free to be who I want to be. I'm free, free again. They repeat the first two lines of the chorus. Okay, good. Let's check out the second, number two. Pump the music up a little bit. See if you can tell me what the name of this song is. much. Okay. Who wants to take a guess at what the name of that song is? Thank you very much. Never be over you. Good job. That one was the first two lines kind of reinforced the title and then the tagline at the end, right? Very last line before you heard, before it went back into the verse said, I'll never be over you. One more time. So good, good job. So you guys understand what I'm trying to say to you? You haven't heard these songs, but right away you can appreciate, you can identify what the title is. We'll try